Hey everyone, it's August 3rd, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share with long-haul trucker and serial killer Delmas Colvin, who may have killed more than 50 women beginning in the 1980s. And that is him right up there. Born in 1959, Colvin grew up in Akron, Ohio, and had a seemingly normal childhood, playing sports at school and avoiding any serious trouble. After graduation, he became a taxi driver in Atlantic City, but never made any friends in the area and began to spend most of his free time in the company of prostitutes. He moved back to Ohio in the late 80s, where he found his first legal trouble in 1989, being convicted of assault and having illegal weapons. Colvin served time until 1992, when he was released on parole which he violated the next year, ending up back behind bars until 1995. He eventually settled in Toledo and found work as a long-haul truck driver. Colvin was arrested for assaulting a woman in the cab of his truck in 2004, which is when the full extent of his crimes came to light. A DNA sample was taken to see if it matched any in a cold case database, and in 2005 he was charged with the murders of two prostitutes in Toledo who'd been killed two years prior. In exchange for having the death penalty taken off the table, he began to talk and revealed that he had been murdering women for years. Colvin used his truck routes as a mean of killing prostitutes and evading capture since he would be long gone before the victims were discovered. Because society at large doesn't seem to care when they go missing, prostitutes were easy prey for him. Those who were known to serve as truckers, so-called lot lizards, are often transient, making it even easier to do them harm without attracting attention. Colvin admitted to killing five prostitutes, but is now suspected of killing dozens more. All five women had been found strangled or smothered with their bodies wrapped in sheets and blankets. As he spent time in prison, he was tied to two more murders, the first occurring in Atlantic City in 1987, leading authorities to believe that his murder spree had lasted decades and not just the few years they knew about when he was captured. When asked, why did you kill? He replied, because I can. The real reason is because they piss me off, especially if she gives me attitude. Recalling one incident when he was sleeping at a truck stop and a woman came and knocked on his truck door, he said, she wakes me up so I go back to bed. When she came back a second time, I choked the shit out of her and then carried her dead body into the woods. In 2020, he finally came clean when speaking with a criminal profiler for a podcast, admitting to 52 murders between 1983 and 2005. He would strangle his victims, drive for hours with their naked bodies in the cab of his truck, and then dump them in the wilderness along his route, often leaving their bodies and clothes spread across multiple states. Colvin said that dead women made great passengers. You ain't gotta share your goodies with them. You want some Wendy's, baby? Hell no. She don't need nothing. When discussing why being a trucker made it easier, he said, Anybody that drives the interstate at night, what do you see? Trucks. And if you actually think I was the only one doing this, you are sadly mistaken. Investigation into these additional murders is ongoing, so they are as yet unconfirmed, but it seems likely that he killed dozens of women over the span of three decades. Colvin sits behind bars in Ohio, where he will remain for the rest of his life. If this is your birthday, hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know somebody whose birthday it is today, send them to the video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Delmas Colvin, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.